Hello, I'm Congressman Tony Cardenas, and I'm proud to represent California's 29th Congressional District in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. I want to thank you for having me today. It's an honor for me to speak to our future engineers, scientists, and mathematicians. I want to let you know what my life has been like, which I think is probably a bit like many of you. I was born and raised in Pacoima. My parents are immigrants from Mexico. Just like Alex Padilla, whose parents are immigrants from Mexico, and he grew up just two blocks away from me, United States Senator Alex Padilla. My family was just so pleased to be able to get an education. My parents only went to the first and second grade, but we, we were able to go to college, to high school. Wow, what a dream come true for us. And also at the same time, I want to remind you that you're going to run into people who care about you, who are going to nurture you, are going to be there for you. Like SHIP. SHIP is there for you. They were there for me when I was in college as an engineering student. But believe it or not, there are teachers or counselors or people in your community who are going to doubt you, but don't worry about them. For example, when I got accepted to the University of California Santa Barbara Electrical Engineering Department, I told my 12th grade math teacher, he laughed in my face, told me I couldn't cut it, told me not even try it. Well, I went to that university, I made the Dean's Honors List, and I showed him those grades, and I could see it in his eyes. He didn't even remember me. That told me he didn't care about me, and what he said didn't matter. So please understand, you're going to run into people who doubt you, and that doesn't matter. You are going to make it because you have people who care about you, organizations who are there for you, and you can be whatever you choose to be. United States Senator Alex Padilla, he had his naysayers too. But look at him now. I want to tell you about somebody that I graduated with at UC Santa Barbara. He's an immigrant himself. He grew up in the Central Valley working in the fields, and he tried to be an astronaut. 13 times on the 13th try they told him yes and he orbited the earth and he became the first astronaut to ever do an interview in Spanish that's right that's something I'm certainly proud of and I believe you're proud of him too so please understand this the organization ship is here for you many of us are we're fighting to make sure that the doors stay open for you for whatever you choose to be so thank you for having me today and giving me this opportunity to share my story with you. And I look forward to hearing all the wonderful stories of all of you in the future.